Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Tuesday, February 14th. And I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the Small Cap 2000. And I'm just getting over uh, a cold, so bear with me. I promise this is almost done. I know I sound horrible, um, but I, it should, probably should be the, hopefully the last day. And so every evening, I always start on the four-hour chart. <clears throat> and as far as a day trader goes, our four-hour chart is the most important chart to understand is what is our bias on this four-hour chart. Are we overbought, are we oversold, or are we at equilibrium? And so obviously, you can see on this slash GS four-hour chart, we are extremely, extremely, extremely oversold, right? So for the most part, if this chart continues going higher tomorrow, I don't have a plan for you. I'm not saying that you can't trade. I'm just saying I won't have a plan for you. Price has never been above that 23, 29 since the beginning of time. So I can't be helping you and telling you what to do. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying, hey, there's not a plan. So just, you know, be, um, if you're gonna trade, trade smaller or do whatever you wanna do, but just be careful. In my opinion, look elsewhere. But I'm just letting you know that, okay? So obviously, uh, the bias on this chart is to come back to, to come back down, right? So all of the structure on this chart will be going lower tomorrow. And so you'll notice that back on Thursday, we actually broke out of this resistance Keltner here, and then we broke out of it, and then now it has been holding as support. And so I wanna write down the yellow uh, resistance Keltner, which is, we'll write down um, 18 to 16. And then if the bears really get after it tomorrow, <clears throat> our target, will be this middle blue Keltner, uh, we'll write down um, 12 uh, to 10. So it's basically 23, 12 to 23, 10. So now what we do is we move to our 15 day, 15 minute plot chart. We understand where we are in the grand scheme of things. We are insanely overbought, right? So what we're doing here is uh, we're looking for and uh, best places to sell. And so uh, what I do here, obviously we don't have a lot of structure and so we had a ton of structure here and here and here, so you should have made a killing uh, around here, right? And it was a, if you've been trading with me for the last couple months, you know how amazing it was to trade with all of this structure, and now we don't have it anymore, right? And so I tell everybody every day, it's like, hey, when you have structure, you have to take advantage. And we actually do not have uh, structure on this chart tomorrow, except for a couple things if we go lower. So what I'm gonna be looking for uh, obviously, you can kind of see we're getting a little bit of um, some bear strength right now. So let's first talk about if this chart goes higher. What I'd love to really see, uh, I'm not in any trades now, but I'd love for this to retrace back up to value high, and then it retraces that all-time highs, and then I can look for sell trick, and I can look to sell value high uh, right there. That's the number one way to profit from that box is to look for sell triggers right there at value area high. And of course, if that holds, we definitely can look, if you wanna look for some daily uh, in the money binaries up here, if this retraces and you see us and you see value area high holding, you definitely can look for your daily in the money binaries right there as well. If we get up above and break up above that high bubble right there, I got nothing for you. Obviously, you wanna be looking to sell, so you, I just don't have a plan for you. I mean, and just, just, just good luck, basically, right? And so if we continue going lower, what I'm really gonna be looking for, I mean already, especially if you wanna look for potential 80% rules uh, to the downside tomorrow. So basically if this retraces, and then you wanna look for lower highs, lower highs, and then there's an 80% chance that price is gonna run down there and touch value area low tomorrow. Here's the 80% rule. If price comes outside of value, which it did, and I'm hoping that it actually comes out again because I don't really want to be trading now, uh, but I'm hoping that it retraces one more time and then we get another crack at this. But then once it comes outside of value, then comes back inside, there's an 80% chance that price will run down there and touch value area low. 80% chance. And the numbers I just wrote down to the downside, I wrote down 18 to 16, which will put me down at that minus 0.5. So obviously we know there's plenty of room for this sucker to run down here to value area low. So you can look to try and spread that down 
and then take your profits at VA low in Tuesday's POC. And once you get there, potential buy trigger, so a quick little buy trigger at value A low. Let me show you that picture here from the training, right? You could potentially see some buy some some buyers come into the picture here. And then of course, um, the second target will be the minus 0.5, and we definitely can look for buy triggers off of that minus 0.5. Uh, as well. And look left, we had breakout and then we had resistance. So obviously, um, and I just wrote down 18 to 16 in my notes. So obviously right there is kind of our our second um, uh, target. So we got first target, second target. We then will have, once we get, if these bears bring the hammer, I did write down 12 to 10. So I wrote down 23, 12 to 23, 10 as our um, third and fourth targets. So if these bears break through the minus 0.5 and then continue to hold more lower highs, right? So find your one minute candle lower highs. We can use Monday's POC as a target and then our final target will be the minus one deviation. TP stands for take profit. So you can look for spread at the money spreads or at the money binaries and you basically just ride the four hour candle sell trigger down. So you're going to have target target, 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 should be a pretty simple day if this chart goes lower, right? So to recap quickly, I want to retrace back into value rate high, and then if you want to just look for some simple daily in the monies, you can also look for that as well. And I'm not even against looking uh, for weeklies up there as well. I forget which weeklies are up there, but you can potentially look as long as value rate high holds, right, and you catch a lower high like that, uh, you can look for your weeklies up there. So now let's in slash TF. The chart's actually a little bit different in a sense that uh, we caught uh, we caught this range high, right? And I sh I showed everybody this on uh, Sunday night, and so you should have potentially caught this trigger. And so there was our four hour chart, and there was our four hour candle sell trigger, and it did sell off uh, once we hit that plus point five dev. It was Monday's plus point five deviation and basically right at the whole number 1400 and then we sold off and so this chart is actually still currently inside of a four hour candle cell trigger right has plenty of room to continue making its way back down to these lows let's write that number down we'll write down um, 83 to 81 and then if the bears really get after it tomorrow their long-term target will be 77 to 75 so um, once, but there is nothing stopping this chart. I'm going to show you on some of the smaller time frames to kind of re jerk right back up into that 95 to 1400. So let's be mindful of that as well. And I'm going to highlight that for you on our 30 minute chart. You can kind of see that our 30 minute chart is a little oversold. So there's nothing stopping this to running back into that 1395 area, right? So just be mindful, see, see it all. Obviously, our four-hour chart has room to continue dumping, but our 30-minute chart might get a little bit of a retrace, retrace back to all-time highs. So now what we do, same thing. We move to our 15-day, 15 15-minute 15 plot chart, and we're just looking for structure. So what I do is I always just start on the deviations, and then I look left. So obviously, that right there is all-time highs. So we have no structure on our plus one, and then we have our plus 0.5 deviation. And so basically we'll have some structure from 1400 is back to all time highs. We can potentially use that as a long term bull target tomorrow and resistance. We then will have that 1395 number that I just highlighted multiple times for you. That is basically now value rate high. So we got that as a target and potential resistance as well. Then we have right here, we're going to have set and value rate low because we're actually below value on this chart. So you can see the differences on ES and TF. ES is above value. Well, ES is basically at value rate high. And then TF is actually outside of value at uh, below value rate low. So we have differences that you have to be mindful of. And, but it's a good thing because they're both giving us different opportunities. The chart continues going lower tomorrow. I wrote down 83 to 81. Ching, ching, ching. Obviously, my bear target tomorrow will be this minus 0.5 in Thursday's POC. And then long-term target tomorrow will be, obviously, the minus 1 uh, deviation. I don't really foresee that happening, but I'm ready for everything, right? I just recently, I actually got to show this to you. I put this quote out on Facebook today, and I freaking love it. And it says, you need a well-thought-out plan 
which anticipates all potential scenarios to keep you from making impulsive and emotional decisions during market hours. That's what we're doing right now. See how I'm literally, I'm literally pre-planning everything before it even happens tomorrow so that I can release my emotions and I'm just trading charts and I'm trading logic, right? No emotional trading tomorrow. I'm only trading exactly what I said I'm about to do, right? So let's first talk about this chart goes higher. The first thing we'll be looking for potential resistance to come in this chart at value rate low and set. So let me show you that picture here from the training. So that's the number four way to profit from that box if this retraces and we can look for potential resistance there. But uh, we will have potential opportunity for an 80% rule uh, to the upside. So if price gets back up above set and then holds higher lows, right? So higher lows, higher lows, 80% chance it's going to run up there to value area low and Tuesday, value area high and Tuesday's POC. So you can look for a spread or out the money binary, spread that sucker up and then put your take profit right there at value area high for an 80% rule. So notice ES, we have opportunity for 80% rule down. This chart, we have opportunity for 80% rule to the upside. And then of course, once we get there, we definitely can look for our sell triggers right there at value area high uh, as well. And then of course, if we continue going higher, obviously I'll be looking for my sell triggers from 1400 to 1402 as well. And that's basically all time highs. And so just be mindful that price has actually never traded here since the beginning of time, so be mindful, okay? Now if we go lower, I mean obviously if you want to, if you want to use Monday's POC as kind of a line in the sand, um, but it, I mean basically my target, I, I don't want, just know that Monday's POC is there, uh, but basically let's act like it's not there for, for a second, okay? So basically what you're going to want to do is I basically kind of use 1388-ish as my line in the sand get through that now hold more lower highs and you can look to spread that sucker down to the minus 0.5 uh, deviation then put your take profit right there on that minus 0.5 deviation so that could be a spread or at the money binaries you can spread that sucker down just wait for some strength and then find your one minute candle lower highs and then we can absolutely look for potential buy triggers off of that minus 0.5 in thursday's poc touch then try and enter off of a one minute higher low. And then if price gets through Thursday's POC and continues to hold more lower highs, lower highs, you can continue to spread this chart down to the minus one or at the money binaries and then take your final, final, final take profit right there on the minus one deviation. So comment if you have any questions. Uh, it's a pretty clear cut day. There's not a lot to do. I'm not like super excited about the both of these charts, honestly. So comment if you have any questions and make sure that you're recording everything you're doing and take pictures of all of your trades as well and post them in the groups so that you get feedback from me and from others.